uh, thank you, uh, Justine and colleague. Well, I think it's, uh, uh, I'm very happy to see the way things are, are, are moving. Uh, I really want to use this opportunity also to thank the people who, uh, who presented some. I think, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the work that you are doing and uh, in collaboration with us, but uh, on this, um, OCV is really, uh, uh, it's really, really important in terms of, you know, setting up the, the, the path for the future uh, uh, and uh, really to identify, uh, you know, the, the, the best way forward to, uh, as you say, uh, to, to rephrase, to, no, no, to, to, uh, to reuse your wording to, to further developing the, the proof of, context, of concepts. Uh, the, the, uh, the things which uh, uh, was important in this discussion is really uh, uh, how to use the opportunity of OCV and to piggyback with OCV. But we all agree that OCV, uh, it's a very rapid, it's a cheap, uh, it's a good solution to, uh, to improve, uh, you know, to reduce rapidly mortality, especially in case of outbreak, but also to buy time for a, a longer term implementation. But this is clearly not the long term solution. And the long term solution is, uh, uh, mid term and long term, is lying with you guys. Okay. So, so, so I'm sorry to put, uh, uh, not that sorry, but, <laughs> to put the um, uh, the uh, the spotlight on you but very clearly I mean you know we will not control cholera with uh, um, uh, with uh, without uh, sustainable implementation of you know minimal wash in uh, many uh, many different areas so the uh, the point that that were uh, that were raised by um, uh, by, by Malikan and Francis, I think again, this is something on which we need to continue, uh, uh, you know, developing and be ready to be able uh, to intervene in a very, very specific situation. Again, uh, just to reiterate that this is not the objective with all the campaign, but uh, we know that, uh, you know, situation and Nigeria is a good example, uh, but also Mali, Afghanistan, et cetera, et cetera, where this kind of situation could apply, where we need to have uh, something uh, ready at least to fill the gap and to uh, uh, not just to wait for vaccine to be there, but also to, uh, uh, to give some time for uh, emergency wash and to benefit from the, the logistics and the, uh, the, the, the resources that are going to be placed into a vaccination campaign. But again, as you mentioned very clearly, this is not uh, a long-term solution that will solve uh, you know, the wash problem. Um, and the last but not the least on the, on the advocacy and the, uh, uh, this is something which is, uh, uh, which is extremely important. And that's why also uh, the, 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 that's, that come back to you, Omar, on the, uh, uh, and with all the, uh, the, the, I completely understand the constraint and the difficulty, but uh, the co having costing tool uh, would be a very good way to, uh, to leverage some resources. Uh, this would be part of the, um, of the, uh, the the strategy for uh, for advocacy for wash, but also something we need to uh, to explore collectively is how we can ensure that you know uh, you know bigger investment or bigger strategy for wash uh, SDG etc will be also channeled to cholera hotspots as we all know that cholera hotspots by definition are hosting the most usually the poorest and the most vulnerable population of a country. And unfortunately, in bigger, uh, you know, initiative or including, you know, political uh, collaboration between country or big institutions, this is not necessarily the area that are targeted first. So this is also some, uh, uh, some way also to try to identify, you know, from the bigger picture, how we can ensure that, you know, efforts are also channeled and in priority, I would say, to cholera hotspot because that will uh, solve cholera problem but also many other uh, uh, public health issues in this area. So, uh, and, and the last comment, I mean, uh, the, the point you to read, Alex, uh, is clear. I mean, the, the, at the same time, uh, well, we had already, a, I would say quite a good example with uh, the work which is done on the AP working group with, uh, you know, with four different working group with all the challenge of, you know, sliding, slice, slicing into pieces, different topic that are by definition extremely, um, uh, interrelated. So uh, very clearly, there is a need to keep uh, cohesion and very smooth information. But at the same time, 
uh, it has proved at least for for other working groups that it uh, it give much more leverage and uh, and flexibility and um, uh, you know in in terms of produce pure producing more uh, in terms of uh, uh, what can be done and it's easier to work with smaller groups uh, to develop something and then after to, to present it to a larger group than to work with a large group uh, which take uh, you know um, uh, some time a lot of time so um, and uh, a last point, and that one will be the, the, the very last point. Uh, I think it's important, so I mean, not, not to choose or to, 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 uh, to cherry pick uh, any of the, the, the strategic things, but I think the, um, the, uh, uh, the thinking and the discussion on uh, WASH and NCP, this is something which is extremely important and need to be, uh, uh, to be developed. So maybe some more people should get involved in that one. Because this is a way also where uh, uh, we sh we could collectively see uh, you know uh, uh, what is needed, what is required. Uh, that brings to the question about you know also how are we going to monitor that uh, you know the, the commitment of the country uh, for preventive campaign. I'm not talking about reactive campaign that are kind of uh, very different, and we should not mix too much both. But with a preventive campaign, we have a stronger leverage. Uh, of uh, you know ensuring that countries are going to implement uh, uh, what they, they they commit to do, uh, and therefore we would be able we should be able to monitor that and uh, uh, and to document what was done and not uh, to be able to have uh, you know a, a stronger leverage uh, uh, and advocacy for for OC, for uh, for wash. Uh, because as we all know, I mean, you know, it's uh, the, 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 the things we don't want to see too much. Uh, there, are, there will be some exceptions and sometimes for very good reasons, but the objective is clearly not to revaccinate the same hotspot every three years. So we need uh, to ensure that, you know, the, uh, the, the window of opportunity that will be provided by OCV preventive vaccination will be used for the best and uh, on the first place for WASH. So, uh, I know that the challenge is very is very big, but I know that you are all very engaged. So a uh, lot of expectation from you, <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, you are clearly uh, you know part of a very 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 essential part of the of the cholera control strategy. And uh, without uh, wash uh, and uh, and your input, we'll get nowhere. So, uh, so thank you very much again for, uh, for, for your time, for, uh, for your presence, for your contribution so far. And uh, of course, I'm not in any way uh, minimizing the work that has been done before, but, uh, uh, but uh, the, 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 there are still a lot of things to do and, uh, and specific thanks for, for what I right colleague also for all the, the, the support and, uh, and the, the engagement in the past weeks uh, you know, to, to move this agenda further. Thank you very much and back to you, Justin.